Hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had an amazing holiday season. I'm so excited to be back for 2020 and I have so many great things that are coming up. If you're interested in me talking about the direction of my channel, please stay till the end. I'm gonna be talking about some of the things I'm gonna be doing differently. But in the meantime, I wanna talk about an upcycled project that I did this week. item that was being thrown away because it didn't work anymore and as I was looking at it I kept thinking God, this is so rustic and cool surely it could be something else and then it totally struck me so let me show you how I took this light fixture and made it into this adorable succulent little garden I love it, I love it. This is going outside, it's totally my decor style. And the nice thing is, is I can easily swap this out, but even more excitedly, you can do this too. I've seen lamps like this many times at thrift stores and at garage sales. I've always thought of turning them into a planter, but when I saw this one, it so matched my aesthetic, and I couldn't wait to see if I could turn it into a planter. So the way the glass globe was designed it already has a hole in the middle so that the light fixture itself can just be attached to the hanging pendant so that was perfect because it allowed me to have drainage so what i needed to do was figure out how to remove the actual light fixture the electrical portion of this so it was really just a series of nuts that were attached with rods so one by one i started removing them and I was just keeping them in the electrical cover so that I had everything together because you're crafty just like me. You know we're going to use this for something else later. So one by one, I just kept twisting things until they started coming undone. And it was actually pretty easy. It was more like a puzzle. So as you could see here, within about minutes, I got it out. The last thing was this double threaded screw that was right in the middle holding the rods together. Um, so I just unscrewed that and now it can sit flat and as a bonus it has these little feet on four of the metal brackets so it's perfect for the bowl to just sit upside down and here's the finished result. I really love this. I really really do and the greatest thing is these can be found anywhere. So here's a couple shots of pendant lights that I have found just online while looking through the Goodwill resale. I hope you liked this idea. If you do succulent gardens, I'd love to hear what your ideas are, what kind of containers you use. This has been such a therapeutic thing for me to do and I absolutely love finding unique containers and giving them as gifts. So thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in hearing about my channel, this is the part where I'm gonna start talking about that. So Clutter Fairy was my little brainchild in 2011. I uh, had always used organizing kind of as my coping method anytime something was going wrong. And when my husband and I separated, I had two little kids and for the life of me, I could not think of what to do for a career that would allow me to be around when they were home from school. Um, at the time I was working at a big hospital and I was working in their scheduling office. So my hours were seven in the morning until five in the evening. So that meant I had to have before and after care um, for my children. And, you know, I had a family member who was helping me, but it was still a lot of money. And more importantly, I wasn't getting to be there to hear about their day and to kiss them before they went to school. So um, some life things happened, we moved to California, and it was just one of those epiphanies of why don't you try doing what you love so much. So I started playing around with ideas. I have a lovely, talented cousin who came up with this drawing, and that was the brainchild for my logo. I put out a bunch of name ideas on Facebook and fell in love with the Clutter Fairy. So I contacted someone and they helped me develop my business. They checked for names in California. It was available, got the domain, got everything going, put out a DBA, 
and started doing business. So for a while I worked full time still uh, as a scheduler and slowly started cutting back as I started getting a little bit braver. Uh, and then about four years ago, I dove into the deep end of the pool, quit my full-time secure job, and started doing, uh, I started doing organizing full-time. And I'm so glad I did. It has been by far the most fulfilling, rewarding, gratifying things I've done, not to mention the ego boost it gave me. Um, and it's just so fulfilling to see you get to help someone. So uh, fast forward, I started doing tutorials on YouTube about three years ago because I found that there were a lot of people that I would meet with and they didn't have it in their budget to have me come with them and I wanted to help everyone uh, and I had to stop discounting my rates because I still had bills to pay and my kids to feed. So I thought YouTube would be a fantastic platform for me to uh, to do this. So I went on YouTube, I created the YouTube channel, um, and I've been, I've been loving every second of it. So last summer I got an, a letter from an attorney uh, because there is another clutter fairy in Houston, Texas. Um, and I, I know a lot of people aren't gonna believe this, but I, even I don't believe how far I was able to get setting up tax IDs, bank accounts, setting up domain names and not knowing that there was another clutter fairy out there. So it's, it's kind of a frustrating thing. And it's been very, very hard for me this last year because I love my name and I love my logo so much. Um, so I'm keeping my business, the call clutter fairy, uh, I'm doing my on my local business here in Long Beach and I have some surrounding cities that I'm going to continue doing. So, but my YouTube channel, I don't I definitely don't want to take away. I think her name is Gail Goddard and I I have the most respect for anybody who can help other people with their knowledge and their caring abilities to get them organized. So, I'm going to be changing my YouTube name and I'm still playing with names. So um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I want to incorporate my logo, uh, but again, I want to succeed on YouTube and I don't want it to ever feel like I'm trying to take away from another person. And I want everyone to be able to move forward in a really positive way. So my channel is going to be changing names. And since I'm changing the names, I'm gonna take the opportunity to start doing a lot more of the things that I genuinely love. Organizing is always gonna be the core of this channel because it's just what gets me excited and I genuinely love seeing total chaos. My brain just starts clicking into where things should go and how they should be put together. So that's gonna be the core. But I love doing upcycles and creative repurposing of things. So this type of thing is going to be in videos more. I'm gonna be doing more DIYs and then the one that I'm super excited about that I've already been filming for the last month and a half are I want to test out all of these crazy ideas that are on the internet and see if they really work. So some of them that I'm working on is, well, I'm not even going to give it away. I've got a lot lined up. So thank you so much for your support. Please leave me a comment below if you have a creative name for the channel. Again, my business name is staying the same. It's just this channel that's already established. I'm going to change the name a little bit. I'd still love it to somehow have to do with my little logo of the fairy. I'd love it to have some sort of creative, organizing, crafty. I've been searching and searching and searching. So, um, and again, I also want to be super respectful because there are so many variations of the name out there. So I want to make sure that I'm not I'm not stepping on anybody else's coat. So it's a unique name that I'm looking for. So whew, that's your updates. I am so excited to be with you guys for 2020. Um, and again, thank you for your support. I'll see you next week.